I'm Gu Zicao. I'm from China, Beijing. I've been staying in New York for three years already. And uh, I used to be a journalist and editor working in the media for eight years. And uh, now I'm a full-time artist. I do oil paintings, illustrations, and now ceramic. I have been doing ceramic for, for almost one year. I'm a new to this area, but I think I'm really into it. And I want to combine ceramic and painting and sculpture. First time I, I was doing clay is just play around in, in China. So I, I just think it's a different media other than like paper and paint. It's not much big deal until I really came back to Brooklyn and uh, started to load up the kiln and uh, how does the fire sculpture your work and uh, give, you, give your work another dimension and another texture. That was the moment I really fell in love with ceramic. When I threw the clay, it feels like a meditation to me uh, because you have to be very concentrated and be very present at that moment. And uh, everything about throwing, actually you have to focus in on one point of the, of the whole piece. And all you put control is only one point. It's like uh, very similar to control your life. All you need to control is one single point. It's not the whole piece. You can, you can form the whole piece by simply control one point. studio back in China in Jingbezhen, which is an ancient ceramic town and I uh, used to hang out with them a lot and when I came back to New York then I was thinking I want to practice on clay as well because I was a painter before so I was trying to make forms and paint on the ceramic. Actually, 因为它都是粉状,特别一下就干了 
Ceramic to me is a very unique media, other than canvas or or sculpture, because you can you can shape it in the three D dimension and you can also paint it on the surface as a two D dimension. So also uh, you are working with some force like fire and temperature and humidity and. Uh, so you are not working there all by yourself. You are working with some destiny stuff, if you if you say it like that. And also, it's super fragile. On the other hand, it can last forever if you don't break it. It can preserve your the fire helps you to preserve your painting, and the, and the the shining, the glaze, forever. Yeah. So I think it's so different from oil. These two bowls are the series of paintings. This is a cat lady and uh, it's her alien cat. And this is the bowl for the new year because it's red, it represents to be lucky in Chinese culture. After I do ceramic, I definitely pay more attention on, on how people eat or how people drink, like their dishes, their tableware. I already changed all the dishware in, in my home into the pieces that I made or my, my friend made. Uh, both of our family like feels much better to eat in a handmade dishware than like IKEA one or whatever. All about what you want to achieve. Like kids they play with clay, they just do whatever they want and uh, Paint on it, glaze it, it, turns out to be an art piece. It's really cool. You can sell it in Lower East Side in the gallery right away. But if you want to do a very decent bowl, like very thin wall, and like those, like, like in the mat, like those pieces in the mat, that is, you need really a lot of practice. But I think it's just depending on what you want to achieve.